Hello, I'm Anton Chitty, European Product Manager for VPG Micromeasurements. I want to spend a few minutes looking at our System 9000 Dynamic Data Acquisition System in combination with StrainSmart 9000 software to show how quick and easy it is to set up our system to acquire high integrity data. We'll start off looking at the System 9000 hardware. System 9000 consists of this box. There are 12 strain gauge channels and they have bridge completion, shunt calibration and bridge excitation built in so that you can directly connect any strain gauge resistance or configuration. We then have four configuration cards for piezoelectric, thermocouple and high level voltages. The maximum sample rate for the system is 50,000 samples per second per channel and I can have up to three of these boxes in a system. Now I'm going to use this system to acquire data from a three element rosette mounted to this PCBA. So I'm going to go through the StrainSmart 9000 software and show the configuration and we will acquire data from this simple test setup. So here we have StrainSmart software and you can see that we've got three tabs here. We have configuration, open sessions and completed sessions. Under configuration we have three tabs, sensors, materials and assignments. And the first thing I'm going to do is define the sensor type connected to my little test rig here. And I've got a rectangular rosette, so I'm going to add that type of sensor to the system. And this information here you can retrieve from the engineering data sheet for these gauges. For this purpose I'm just going to accept the defaults that StrainSmart offers. I can then go to assignments tab and I can tell the system where this rectangle rosette is physically assigned. In this case, I have it connected to channels 1, 2 and 3 for the three grids. So I'm just going to define that here. Once again, I'm going to accept the defaults in this case. It then just takes a few seconds to set up the hardware based on that configuration. So there are no settings required to do on these individual channels here. It retrieved those from the sensor that we set up a few seconds ago. I want to tell the system how to record data, so I'm going to go to my open sessions and I'm going to create a new scan session. And I can now make selections as to what I want to record, so firstly it will record the assignment that I just created. And I can choose the scan rate, in this case I'm going to go 5000 samples per second, and that's all I want to do. I don't want to customise any of the automatic or semi-automated triggering processes. So I'm just going to click finish so the system will record when I tell it to and will stop recording when I press stop. So that's very straightforward so far. So I just want to make sure that the scan session I just created contains the zeros for my sensors. So I'm going to set zero. Zero is complete. I'm going to now set the shunt calibration which corrects the lead wire resistance. And again, shunt calibration complete. And finally, I can arm and scan. Now at this point I want to do a project validation just to ensure that I haven't missed anything and this says no errors detected so I'm ready to arm the system. Now what the system does is it resets all of the hardware channels to make sure the bridge completion excitation is ready, that the balance has been applied and it's essentially ready to go. So I can now press scan and the system will start scanning because of the way I set up the scan session, it will not start recording. So you notice here the scans is increasing, scans recorded is not. I've set it up through the express setup as manual record start. So I'm going to click this here and now I'm recording data. And you notice the scans recorded is starting to clock up. So I'm going to go to my little PCBA and I'm going to just apply some data. So I'm just going to apply a simple little flexure. I'm going to apply flexure in two different directions and just out of interest I'll add a little bit of torsion as well to the board in two directions and perhaps apply a little bit of negative strain there as well just to make our captured data look a little bit more interesting. Now I want to stop recording data, I've completed the tests that I intended to do and I can then choose to stop scanning as well and at this point the system will automatically transfer the data from the System 9000 hardware onto the computer hard disk. I can choose to duplicate the scan session again and this will copy across 
the recording modes, the zeros, the calibrations, but none of the data. So if I say yes here, the system will then create a new open session ready to capture more data. So I could then choose to go straight back to arm and scan and capture another data burst. In this case, I actually want to view my completed session. So when I select this tab here, you see scan session number one is in my closed session list. I can double click on here and then I can choose what I want to display. In this case, I'm just going to use the defaults here, but I can change these defaults and I can ask the system not to ask me again. So if I always want to display maximum principal strain for a Thrillant Rosette, then I can ask the system to do that without going through this screen here. So I'm going to select that option and then I'm going to go to strip chart and the system will plot the data. So you can see I've got a few little data bursts here. And now I can start to move around the data, zoom in, move around. If I click on a trace, then I can actually look at the numbers that I've captured. And I can do the same here as well, move around the data. I can zoom out, zoom into another part of the data. So it's very, very quick and easy to move around the data and find what I need. Once I've reviewed the data, this might be sufficient for my test. I might just want to pick max mins, for example. But of course, I could go on to export the data. And whilst I'm not going to go into the details here, you make similar selections as to how you want to export the data. You choose where you want to export it to, for example, Excel. And the system will then apply the data for you as soon as you click the export button. And once again, you see that it really only takes a few seconds. We'll explore the exporting options in a little bit more detail at another time. We've just spent the last few minutes looking at System 9000 and about how easy it is to connect our sensors and at StrainSmart 9000 software to see how quick and easy it is to set up those sensors and to acquire high integrity data. Thank you very much for listening.